at this road, man. Always, always, always forget to do one zip up or another. Holes and holes. See, I'm really glad I've got this bike. Um, I've got a sporty bike too. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a bit of an old one. It's a 1997 TL1000S, the original. Crazy bike, nice V-twin. Um, but this one <laughs> just doesn't give so much of a shit about the holes in the road, of which there are many, many holes. Um, funnily enough, this bike has actually got the same engine, or uh, a detuned version. People normally try and kill me here, From they just fly... No, from the left, like him. I'll try and knock you off. Um, so yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, this has got a V-twin. 1000cc. This is a DL1000. V-strom. Which is German for probably wind or something, or fart, I don't know. Um, so this is my Strom Trooper. And yeah, it's no slouch. It'll, um, gee, I don't want to go. It'll do um, 140, so I've been told. So I've been told. Yes, so, um, it doesn't actually give a shit what's gear, what gear it's in either, which is wonderful, especially when you're taking two up, which I do sometimes with my ma and my wife. My ma lives in Wales, and we go uh, cruising around the valleys. Yucky da. And uh, sorry, Tom. Um, he's Welsh. Yeah. No, it doesn't really, you know, it just plods along, it's so talky. I love it. Plus, the red one, the TL, I kind of took it apart a bit to do it up. You know, change the swing arm, mess with the suspension, blah blah blah, put a bit of carbon on it, <coughs> and uh ran out of money a bit, so it's been sat in the garage awaiting some funds. I hate these roundabouts, these fake fucking brick things. There's another one up here, and if you don't know they're coming, um, and it's wet, and you've never been along the road before, you see a roundabout, you don't necessarily see the stupid killer brick lining, like that. And it will take you right off. Council should be shot for that kind of thing. So yeah, I guess I'd better introduce myself. My name... Or well, I am, it's not my name. It's my nickname. It's White Line Racer. And it's not because... I'm a cokehead. Always wanted to take something up there. But it's not because I'm a raging cokehead, it's because, um. Well, my dad gave me the nickname originally when I was a young'un. When I overtook him on my bike when he was on his. Um. And yeah, my friends called me WLR. White line, whitey. White line race is a bit of a mouthful, I know, but it kind of stuck. Some of you might know me from the TL Planet forums or TL Zone, which is the two Uber 
forums for TL thousands. The S and the R. Uh, oh, nice horns. Nice road, eh? She just soaks it up. She loves it. Give her some more. Um. Yeah, I, this used to be my commuter bike. I used to commute at least 50 miles every day to Elstree around the M25. Here's a school day. Hey, give me a wave. I'm going to wave. I always wave at scooters. Because I was there once, well not on a scooter, I had a DT1 with DT50 and then a DT125R, which is wicked. Ah, brakes, look, squeal! Ah! Um, yeah, so this was good. This is like my battle wagon, this bike, really. Uh, for getting through the traffic. It's around the N25 every bloody day when they were doing all the building back in up to 2009 when I stopped commuting around there. Oh, 2010 really, the Mr. Cyclist. And I probably look like a real knob with this camera on the top of my helmet, hey? I've just realised. But I don't care. I've seen that other people do it and people don't think they're total twits. Um, so yeah, I used to go commuting every day, and you could, might be able to see down there what's left of my old bullet cam mount that I used to mount just for the journey because of people knocking me off and whatnot. It's the crash bars, I love you. Uh, yeah, so I uh, was looking on the old YouTube a while back. My brother said to check out the Baron, the Mr. Grumble. Big shout out to you. You're a funny, funny guy. Um, and I used to mount the bullet cam down there, just as evidence, really. But it was pretty shit, the quality of it. It was awful, actually. It used to vibrate. On those bars, everything vibrates. Even the GoPro, which is on. Don't squirt me, please. Which is on my helmet, hey. That vibrates down there and turns itself off. It doesn't like harsh acceleration. It's the problem with a big thumper like this. So I've decided to stick it on my helmet here. Winch bottom. Um, and this is the first test. Street cleansing. Cleansing. That's nice. <laughs> that anyone on the road gets cleansed. So yeah, this is the first test. With a mic. Lovely road. Where are you going? Where are you going? Going that way. Let's see what it does. I never hooked a mic up to it before. Didn't have one. So I dremeled the bejesus out of an old set of gaming headphones that the headphones had broken. Um Totally stripped the mic out of it, chopped all the bits off I didn't want. And static tests it seemed pretty good. I don't know how it sounds now, probably at speed it's like. If so, I'll have to get something better. Yeah, the thing is, I don't actually commute all the time. I'm not going to be doing loads and loads and loads of vlogging. I think, is that how you, what do you call it? Vlogging? Vlogging. Is it vlogging a dead donkey? Um, yeah, because I don't commute now. Hey! He's coming round. Nice one, chap. Lock, weir, angler, Thames, beautiful. Ah, oh, that guy's a plenis. I'm going to take you. I had you. You were mine.
fine. You just can't trust any bend around here. It's going to either have a hole on it. If you haven't been round the, down the road for a few weeks, show some caution. Because they'll have either put a manhole right in the middle, there'll be a, a hole. Poor shit. He got around there quick. Or uh, loose gravel. with uh, rubbishy roads. I'm sure the rest of the country is the same. So yeah, the battle wagon. I took some bits off of her because uh, I didn't like the plastics. And uh, yeah, it's dirty. It's been everywhere. Oh my god! Uh, that smell, I think, is cow. Or is that pig? No, that was just shit. 60! 60! 60! Ducks and things, just watch out here. It's so stupid, as we call them, pheasants. Because they are so stupid. Now, I had a deer come out on me last night. This is a horrible bend. Um, jumped out of the hedge while I was just driving along that road there my wife my wife and she was like ah! and I was like oh and it was like oh and it just jumped across went through the other side and was gone beautiful thing though yeah, pretty pretty see that's what I do I make the noise of my bike I'm not going to be able to stop it either on my tail, I'm worse. I'm like boom, 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 bah! I know my sister goes now, 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 like that all the time. I've heard her. Now, 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 now. Off-road track up here. I want to do off-roading. I mean, a green lane on this a bit, but that's it. You know, proper motocross track. You know, some seriously good skills. I'd also love to do a track day um, on somebody else's bike. <laughs> I'll, I'll do a track day on this, first of all. I'll get laughed at and be like, what the hell are you doing on, um, on one of those things on the racetrack? But I'm just so scared of dropping my beloved TLS. So yeah, track day one day.